Christian promotion. This man did not know what was about to happen. He thought the power that he controlled was about to break Jesus and he wanted him to plead. Some people are trying to get you to plead for your life and plead for things that God's not asking you to plead for because you know you're created for greater purpose. But sometimes he's got to crush it out of you. He's got to bring these things out of you. He's got to pull stuff out of you. And if he doesn't do that, you will never reach the potential to pull other people out of their Egypt or pull other people out of their sin because you're willing to speak up and weasel your way out of what's happening. Jesus in 8 said, Therefore, when Potiphar heard that, that saying, he was the more afraid and went again to, I always mess up that word, and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Are you not speaking to me? Like, who are you not to talk to me? I'm the ruler. I'm the big dog. I'm the person that's coming in you. I'm the person that can control your fate. And he said, do you not know that I have the power to crucify you? And power to release you? Here's going to be your biggest break in life. That power is a little peep. Because Jesus later grows with all power. Everything in him, everything in this world, with the keys, the death, hell, and the grave, where's that sting? Like nothing can touch you because when you're in Christ, you don't have to answer the stupid questions of this world because it does not control what's in you. It may control what's around you, but it doesn't control what's in you. And what's in you is greater than he that's in the world. And it said that the one who brought me to you has the greater sin. Everybody thinks it's Judas, everybody thinks, but it's not. It's the one that demon possessed him. Satan had a personal vendetta and he has a personal vendetta against you because Christ is in you. And so there's things coming against you that you don't understand how to work and how to fix. That's why you've got to rely on the Holy Spirit and be filled with his power, be filled with his anointing, be filled with the moment so that you can get through and do what Jesus did. And he said, you couldn't have no power. Anything around you said, you could have no power except it came from above. We don't understand that. I don't, I don't really understand that. But I do understand that Jesus had a plan to fulfill. And sometimes the plan that God puts us in is painful. And he tells us, your life is not going to be all roses. It's going to be some thorns and a lot of thorns. There's going to be a lot of pricks. There's going to be a lot of things that happen to you. But he's telling you, hold on, fight the good fight. If you just stay a little while longer, I pray that your faith not sift you. I pray that Satan doesn't come in and push you aside, but that you understand that you are about to be delivered to the greatness of what your pain is going to take you to.